but uh let's run through some uh some business if we shall this okay. is all out of jim Cornette's book which by the way i highly recommend if you have an opportunity to pick that up uh june 1st charleston west virginia 2 p.m show 44 grand at the gate uh that night uh 8p greensboro at 61 grand the next day green up kentucky fourteen thousand dollar house green up. tv tapings here in spartanburg they tape two shows raleigh north carolina eleven thousand six hundred dollars on the fourth mm. the fifth they're in columbus georgia eighteen thousand uh, dollars norfolk virginia gets a show on the sixth thirty five thousand dollars of course they're doing tv tapings here on july or june 7th that night they're going to be in roanoke virginia and they'll get twenty six thousand then they'll scoot over to Asheville, north carolina for a 2 p.m show a matinee show 16 grand there they'll be at the omni at 8 p and draw 51 grand uh, back to Greenville, South Carolina for $24,000. Then, uh, Salisbury, North Carolina, uh, 18 grand mission, Texas on the 11th. That'll be $28,400. That's a sellout on the 12th. They're in San Antonio. They're off on the 13th and then back taping on the 14th with an eight P show that night in Baltimore for 55 grand. So that's sort of what's going on with the houses and the tour. For Jim Crockett Promotions, and it's breaking down now. Arn Anderson's in the ring. Tully Blanchard's in the ring, and here comes Ole. Let's yes, try. sir. Out of nowhere, Ole Anderson in his shirt and blue jeans, and Day with the Four Horsemen are back together. J.J. Dillon comes in too, but the Four Horsemen start to pound away on Ric Flair. They take him. Ole goes up, goes up on that top. They have him. They drop him on his head. Magnum comes in. I love David, but he ruined this. Yeah, he did. Come in. There you see Holly Anderson with R. Tully and JJ and Rick Flair. Yeah. The, the, what we did wrong was we commentated from there. Yes. Instead of being there and doing it. This man right here is going to be smiling when he comes in. What did I tell you? Oh, I want to see Holy Man. One fact and one fact only. When we tell you something's gonna happen, it happens. And Dusty Rhodes, you find yourself in an unenviable position. You are on the rebuttal end of what you and the Road Warriors did to the Rock. Well, the Rock's back, Daddy. Four horsemen, not three, four horsemen. And when we start choosing sides, Rhodes, just remember one thing. Magnum's felt the horrification. Ronnie Garvin's felt it. Sam Houston's felt it. You felt it. You've all been hurt because you want to get in bed with the big dogs. So now recap it and start asking Dusty Rhodes, how many friends do I really have when they got to sit there and think, hey, maybe the four horsemen going to get me getting out of my car, maybe get me at the bar. We will jump you anywhere, anytime. And The Rock has a few words for you right now, Dusty Rhodes. Roll the tape. Let's take a look and a listen. Oh, I, I, was there. I heard somebody out there said, maybe your eyes deceive us. Maybe it's somebody that just looks like Anderson. Maybe our TV is messed up. Maybe a picture fly. Maybe, maybe. There ain't no maybes about it, David Crockett. You're looking at the four horsemen. We're back together. Rhodes, you make the biggest mistake of your life by even staying in wrestling. You should have got out. You got two chances now. One is to stay up. The other is to get yourself crippled so bad that even your papa the plumber ain't gonna know you when we get done rearranging your pipes. You take a look at all the people that have tried to help Dusty Rhodes. What's the name of the Rock and Roll Express? Rock well, here, we got a nose on the other end of this one. We take care of you, Ricky. We go to Robert, and we go to the most important man, the American dream, the one that everybody believes the sun rises and sets on. Did you really think did you really think that you were going to get rid of the horsemen? Did you really think that Ole Anderson was going to go off to the sawmill and sit for the rest of his life? <laughs> I tell you this, Rhodes. And no way. There's no way that it's going to be over. I know it now. No way it's going to be over until one of us. 
Uh oh. And right now, uh. you're looking at the burial team. You're looking at the team that's got the shovels. We got the plot of ground out there, and you might as well realize it. And everybody in the world better realize it. This ain't no joke. This ain't no funnin'. This ain't no April Fools. I'm as serious as I can be. We're gonna get rid of Dusty Rhodes. You bank on it. You go down. You can bet on it. I don't care who helps him. I don't care where. I don't know when. All I know is going to be done. And right now, we're going to do a little celebrating because the four horsemen are back the in business. Unity, boys. The, the, unity. the four horsemen. Yes! 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 Yeah! I thought I was next. I thought I was next. Ha! Serious words right there from Ollie Anderson. Well, all I heard in every arena across this country was, I'm next. I'm next. Well, Dusty Rhodes, I don't want to say I told you so, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot, toot. Back, and we'll talk about the U.S. heavyweight title right after this. Such an iconic moment, what we just saw. The, not mm. only the toot, toot promo, mm -hmm. but Oli's promo mm -hmm. has been played everywhere. And then JJ, yes, yes, it's so good, dude. And I 